you know that 2.3% of the world's population suffers from OCD, and Daniel is part of that grouping? Hi, my name is Jacob, and welcome to Meg Reviews. In this episode, I will review the book, OC Daniel. This book is about a 13-year-old boy named Daniel who suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD. He is extremely secretive about this problem and does not tell anyone, not even his own mother and father know. He also plays on his middle school's football team, even though it is his least favorite sport. Daniel also is not a very sporty kid in general. He is one to work very hard in class and get good grades. The only reason why he plays on the team is as a backup kicker is because his dad and his best friend Max love the sport. Later in the novel, Daniel meets a girl named Sarah, and they are very alike. She is smart, nice, funny, and does not like sports. But later in the novel, they find out that they are even more similar than that. Also later in the in the book, Daniel gets a chance to ask out the girl who he has liked for the entire school year so far out to the school dance. Daniel thinks his life is going downhill, but it is really just getting started. And positive message, and it's cool the way the author chose to write this book. The story was written from Daniel's point of view, who had many different and interesting perspectives. The book's message shows that anyone can overcome their problems and disabilities with courage, strength, hope, and an intense amount of work. Daniel has OCD. He has to start by acknowledging the fact that he has this disorder, and he has to start trying to contain it. I feel by the end of this book, he succeeds on containing it and not letting it control the decisions he makes. I read a book that is similar to OC Daniel. I recently read a book titled Monster Calls, but this book was about anxiety disorders, which is different from OCD. This book really does engage your emotions because it is both happy and a sad story. It has a lot of mixed emotions. For example, the part when Daniel realizes he has OCD, gets really stressed and starts having anxiety issues. But at the same time, he's happy because he is the, he is the backup kicker on a school football team and the playoffs are starting and he is playing. There are some parts later in the novel that I found sad because some of the personal issues some of the characters are going through. So it is truly just a roller coaster of mixed emotions. For me, this book was a pretty easy read because of the vocabulary used in the book was appropriate for my age level of reading. I really liked the author's style of writing. It was great. It had great depth into the characters and had an excellent storyline. But the way that the author made connections between multiple characters and explained the, the personalities in such depth was really descriptive to read. Every time I stepped away from the novel to take a break, I always wanted to come back and, and read more. It is very hard to explain, but when you are reading, you become so engulfed in the story and you feel like you are actually inside the book as a character. It is a very enjoyable. The author achieved what they were going for, which was to bring awareness to OCD. I feel like the author was trying to help the reader understand this disability. To me, it made me feel sad and upset because I then realized when reading this book that there was a big struggle with this problem. It also made me upset that people in the novel did not take this disorder seriously, and I feel like it should be talked about more with kids and realized as a problem. To me, this really did feel completed at the end. Everything at the end of this book all came together. For example, the end of Daniel's football season ends on a good note, and Daniel finds a way to manage his disorder. Also, I did not feel like there were any parts missing from the book. The book really made sense and did not have any parts that were weird, or in any way unbelievable. My favorite part of this book was when Daniel had gone out to a party with some of his friends from school. They were all they all got invited to Daniel Crush's house. I liked it because the author really did a good job describing all of Daniel's emotions when he played spin the bottle and ended up, ended up kissing his crush. So that was the great so, so that was of how good the author really is at describing different emotions in different places and times. I really would not make any changes about the story or the storyline at all. It was a very well written book and should not be changed. I really think that everyone can like this book if they choose to give it a chance because of how the story draws you in and keeps you wanting to read more. The age rating that I would give for this book is um, for 10 to 13 year olds because it is hard enough that a nine-year-old will not understand some of the vocabulary in the book, but after 13, it just becomes too easy. I would rate this book a solid five out of five stars because of the way it's written and the storyline, and I really suggest that you read this book.